But everybody, give it up for Gavin Eddings here. Come on up here, Gavin. Give it up for Josh Parrish, everybody. Give it going for him. And give it up for Blake, who is trying his little hardest tonight. He is just announcing his little heart out. Oh. Good job, Blake. Good job. I'm happy to be here tonight in Evansville. I was on the road this week, a little bit in Louisville. That did not go well. Ask me later. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Happy to be back in Evansville. It's good to be back here. Love it. So good to be back here so I can go back to my day job. Working at Sears. That's, uh, love being working at Sears. That's what I, at least I think I work at Sears. Because people go, hey, excuse me, um, do you work here? I wear a shirt, matching pants, a name tag that hangs lower than Flame of Flame's clocks. No, I don't work here. I'm just a big fan of Sears. <laughs> do you like cults? I like Sears. That's how I roll. And then I work in the hardware department because I clearly look like a guy who needs to sell tools. <laughs> I look at the ladies when I say this. I look like Jeffrey Dahmer grew his hair out. <laughs> Put me by the chainsaw, so when I go postal, it's not that far away. <laughs> but no, I like that. But I hate when people come in and they ask me for stuff. They're like, "Excuse me, do you have that thing?" <laughs> what is it? What is it? I don't know what this is. Is this a drill? Are you trying to rob me with your air gun? What is? <laughs> One time though, and here's my question: Who, Does anybody here work retail? Anybody work retail here? Do you all have successful careers or what? <laughs> You guys like, no, I got my degree and I work at an uh, advertising agency. This is going well. Okay, well then, we'll relate very well to this joke. Uh, <laughs> me just telling you stuff at this point. You're not relating. It's awesome. Cool. <laughs> no, but uh, I love it. Why is it when you need to use the bathroom in a retail store, why do you ask like you're doing a drug deal? Come over here, dude. Come here. Come here. Listen, okay, I guess I'm going to ask you. And to try it back over there. <laughs> I love the people who either do the drug deal or they just don't care. They're like, I gotta pinch off a loaf. Where's your restroom? I need to do this now. <laughs> Had somebody come to me one time. A woman came up to me and she goes, Yeah, um, I need a hatchet so I can kill my husband. <laughs> She must have just done watching the snap marathon on oxygen or whatever. And I'm like, that's terrible. Kill your husband? I'm on commission, so this $39.99 one ought to drop that bastard fairly quick. Uh, don't return it, though, because uh, uh, I don't get paid if you return it. Like, we're going to retail. Actually, speaking of bloody hatchets, that's a good transition right there. Uh, went to go see the new Halloween movie, Halloween 2, this past week. Anybody else go see that? Boo. Boo? I hate that movie. Yes, boo. That movie was terrible. Like, I felt, I was jealous of people getting killed in the movie. I wanted to be stabbed myself. That's how bad it was. I'm like, Mike, show some love. Stab me, please. I was so I would answer their phone so I could hear some interesting dialogue. God, it was terrible. But I love horror movies. Don't get me wrong. I love horror movies. I love them a lot because every horror movie you see this, you can be the most backwards killer ever, but you have enough education to cut the phone line and turn off the lights. <laughs> Is everybody going to Ivy Tech that I didn't know about? Or, like, you check yourself and like, oh crap, Jason took out the cell phone tower? God. You know, you have Verizon, less coverage everywhere. <laughs> But no, I thought one time, the killer come and cut the lights, I'd be like, hey, while you're here, before you kill us, can you fix my garbage disposal? It kind of broke. Can you fix that? That'd be awesome. Great. Thanks. My favorite type of movie, though, I love zombie movies. Zombie movies are my favorite. Do you know zombies can run now? They can actually run. They don't just shuffle. One time, me and a girl broke up over this argument. I'm like, dude, zombies should run. It's more scary. It's like, no, they should shuffle. Our breakup was typical, though. I ran away. She's like, don't go. Please stay. Don't go. I love every zombie movie, though. There's that one scene where the zombies are coming. They barricade the doors. They're like, move the armoire. Jess, move the armoire. Dude, reinforce it with a futon. Okay. 
Then the gay guy in the movie's like, let's uh, stick the wicker basket on top. <laughs> Are the zombies really like come through and be like, armoire, done, futon, get out of here. Shit, wicker basket. <laughs> go back, dude, go back. No brains, no brains. We're hitting Arby's, okay? They're open. We can get that. <laughs> this is going well. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. But Hollywood wants to remake every movie now. They want to remake everything. Like Halloween was a sequel to a remake or whatever. Like, Hollywood remake anything now. Like, my dad paid my birth. Hollywood remade it. Now I watched it. My mom gave birth to Matt Damon. I'm like, I'm not. I told that joke to my mom. She's like, I don't get it. Why am I giving birth to him? What's going on? I'm like, see, they remade it so you give birth to Matt Damon. She's like, oh, so I give birth to something successful. And I'm like, really, Matt Damon successful? We want to go with that? Really, of all the people, Matt Damon? I just can't wait till Patrick Swayze dies so he can star in the remake of Ghost. That'll be... <laughs> oh, don't all that. The minute he dies, you're going to take up pottery to see if you can summon him. <laughs> pottery is Swayze Ouija, I swear to God. But no, uh, anybody watch the UFC last night? Any UFC fans here? UFC fans here? UFC? Love the UFC. Love it. They train really hard. Harder than I'll ever even do in my life. One guy trains with a snorkel on his face to limit his air intake for a fight. I have asthma. That is nature's snorkel, okay? I would be the most awesome fighter ever. My corner man, dude, you're, you're winning the fight. I can't breathe. Let's do this, Anderson Silva. I want him now. But I want every. I love when they come out. They have little fun facts. They're like likes to strike. Good at grappling. Awesome. Okay, that's cool. I want one time to see if I was out there. I'd be like likes long walks on the beach. Volunteers at animal shelter. Recently paroled. But see, I would win every UFC fight, though, because the minute that hits the ground, I'm getting real gay real fast, okay? Be yeah. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> stop, that's the tickle, stop. stop. Are you wearing a cup? I'm not wearing a cup. You can choke me anytime. Don't worry. I know that sounds like kind of lame, like, UFC is gay, we've heard that before. There is a sponsor in the UFC called CondomDepot.com. <laughs> and where do they stick the advertising for? On the fighter's ass. <laughs> you know how gay I feel like looking at the guy's ass going, you know what? That guy's butt reminds me I need to buy condoms. <laughs> oh my god. Think I'll get some magnums, ladies. <laughs> But no, I actually did check out condomdepot.com. I went there. It's a review site for condoms. You can buy them, review them. I, I did a review. I'm like, yeah, this condom. Ask my newborn son how well they worked. Uh, I have a girlfriend, though. I have a girlfriend, and she's awesome. She has an awesome job. My girlfriend does. She works at Subway. Yeah. Because it's awesome for me. Because when I say, woman, make me a sandwich, she pretty much has to. <laughs> And I want it toasted. She's better than my ex-girlfriend, though, because my new girlfriend keeps things to herself. She keeps things to herself that I don't want to know about. She, my ex-girlfriend called me up one time, swear, girl in the front row, who's new? How are you? <laughs> she calls me up and she goes, Gavin, guess what? I'm like, what? She's like, I have a yeast infection. <laughs> Not my first guess. Uh, <laughs> And then she goes, uh, oh, it's going to get worse for you. It's better, folks, okay? She goes, yeah, it's really gross. There's been some discharge. The only time a male is going to hear a woman say the word discharge is if you just got done firing a gun or you're being released from the army, okay? So it's the only time that it's okay to say. And then she goes, but it's okay now, though. I took a tampon and I dipped it in yogurt and I stuck it in my vagina. Apparently, some sort of remedy that I was unaware of. Jamie Lee Curtis fails to mention this in the Yoplait commercials. If you're like, oh, don't like our uh, yogurt, uh, it's a 
step on it, you're done. Uh, your yeast infection. So I asked the only thing a person can ask at this point, well, what flavor? Uh, <laughs> she's like, vanilla, duh. Duh. I went over to run any blueberries next time we were hanging out. Like, <sighs> what smells like blue? Oh, you. We did break up, though, because I gave her the cutest little nickname. I started calling her Goger. She loved it. <laughs> All right, that is my time. I am Gavin Eddings. Here's Josh coming up. Keep it going for Gavin.